the sun. The sun is very important in our, our daily life. It gives us light and also energy to plant for us to eat and gain energy. But did you know, in a few thousand years ago, people have been using sun as a medium to show the time. You guys might think, but how? In this video, I will explain to you guys a tool that they use to measure time, which is called sundial using sign so let's get into it let's go okay first of all we need to learn about the history of the sundial the earliest household clocks known from the archaeologist find are about 1500 bc in the ancient greek and also babylonian astronomy but did you know in the Old Testament, they are described about the sundial, which is called the Dial of Hazard in roughly 700 BC. The mathematician and also an astronomer called Theodosius of Bithynia around 116 BC to 100 BC is said to have invented a universal sundial that could be used anywhere on earth. How cool is that? The Roman adopted the Greek sundial and the first sundial that was discovered in Rome was around 293 BC according to Pliny. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, the Romans were first divide the first one uh, who divide the day into 12 hours to better mark the time and meetings. The day was divided in two periods which, which is Ante meridium, which is before midday, and post meridium after midday, which is now known as AM and PM. Okay, last but not least, we as a Muslim also must know that in Islamic Golden Age, they improved the sundial using the algebra and also trigonometry to increase the accuracy and also to help them to determine the time to pray. Okay, that's all for the history of sandal and now I'm going to talk about the working principle of the sandal. Okay, let's go. Sandal working principle. A sandal is a horological device that tells the time of the day when there is sunlight by the apparent position of the sun in the sky. It consists a flat plate the dial and genomon which casts a shadow onto the dial. As the sun appears to move across the sky, the shadow aligns with different hour line, which are marked on the dial to indicate the, the time of the day. The genomon may be a rod, wire or elaborately decorated metal casting. Sundial must be correct across the span of a time zone. Every time zone has a reference longitude and with every degree of longitude away from the reference. There is a few types of sundial. Number one, horizontal dials, vertical dials, equilateral dials, polar dial, anamatic dials, and also portable dials. Okay, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you all how to make your own sandal in home with basic equipment. Let's go.